Hello everyone. Welcome back to Dr. K. Prem Primer Lecture Series presenting by Dr. K. Prem, that's me. In today's lecture, we'll talk about in vitro packing of uh, Lambda virus. In vitro packing. In vitro means in the laboratory, in the laboratory condition or in test tube. So what is mean by in vitro packing? It means that production of lambda phase infectious virus particles from head proteins, tail proteins, and the packing proteins. So the production of infectious or mature lambda phase virus particle from head proteins, tail proteins, and packing proteins. So head, tail, and packing proteins and DNA are mixed together, mixed together, and they form a mature and infectious virus particle that is called as a in vitro packet. You see, in, I'm repeating again, production of infectious lambda phase virus particle from head, tail, packing proteins and naked DNA with cos sites. Naked DNA with cos sites. That process takes place in a test tube. Hence, it is called as a in vitro packing. You can see here. You see, here you have, uh, here you can see the head, pre-head protein, uh, pre-head, and uh, these are the collar proteins, these are the tail proteins, and there is a DNA with the cos sites. DNA with the cos sites. And when you mix them in a test tube, and it produces that results into the infectious, mature lambda phase particle. That process is called as a, uh, in vitro packing. You see, when you are mixing them, right, you get a matured lambda phase virus particle. So, in vitro packing is a very common uh, step in the cloning of uh, uh, genomic libraries where you use the cosmetes and the lambda insertion or replacement vectors. Cosmetes and uh, replacement vectors allows the, us to clone the larger DNA fragments, larger DNA fragments. So roughly 25 to 30 KB. So if that is a case, if you want to, that vector to be transfected into the E. coli, it is impossible. Hence, if you can prepare a proteins from the lambda phase, then you mix those proteins with the, these vectors, and they'll assemble and form a mature virus particle, right? That virus particle can send the DNA very easily into its host. Okay, so now in this uh, today's lecture, we'll talk about the process of uh, in vitro packing. As I told you that in vitro packing requires the proteins of lambda phase, maybe head proteins, tail proteins, or a packing proteins. When you produce these three types of proteins in, and you mix along with the naked DNA with the cos sites and that forms the mature infectious uh, lambda virus particle which can infect the its natural host. So for that you need to produce the proteins independently. So when the scientist understands the uh, lambda genome as you know that the left border encodes the proteins required for the head, tail, and packing. Here, gene E, which is an essential component, or it is a major capsid proteins required for the formation of head. If you the that mutant, uh, if the that gene gene E is if it is mutated, the gene E is mutated, then it cannot form the head head structure and uh, there is a one more gene called as a d which it is also there just besides the e gene the d gene is required for the 
packing of uh, DNA into the heads of heads. So when you can make the mutants of PACE with the uh, mutation there in the E gene or D gene, and E gene and the D gene, and those genes, th those pages can uh, accumulate the proteins in the bacteria without assembly and formation of a mature virus particle. Then you can isolate those uh, uh, proteins and you can use them for the in vitro packing. Yeah, as I told you that gene E is required for the major capsid protein and the D is required for the DNA packing protein. And here you can see the uh, uh, phase BHB2688, which is a mutant for uh, E protein, that's an amber mutation, as well as, uh, uh, and uh, here also you can see, uh, it's also BHB2690, this is uh, one very, uh, one strain of uh, lambda phase, where D protein is, uh, D gene is mutated. When uh, E gene is mutated, which, which cannot code for or express the major capsid protein. If the major capsid protein is not there, it cannot form the heads. The mutation indicates the uh, this uh, triangle symbol. And he, yeah, one more mutation. So we have taken the two lambda phase mutants. One mutant is having the mutation at uh, E protein. That encodes the major capsid protein. Other one is at the D gene, which encodes the uh, packing protein. So when these uh, mutant lambda strains are infected with the infected on uh, bacterial cultures, and they accumulate the proteins without that mutant gene, mutant protein. You can see here the strain is uh, infected with the bacterial host, and that host accumulates the tail proteins and collar proteins and the other proteins. And when the BHB2690, where uh, D gene is mutated, so uh, when this strain is infected with the infected uh, uh, bacteria, that bacteria can accumulate the uh, preheads or empty heads, tail proteins, and uh, other E protein. So if you provide, if, uh, if you isolate a protein from proteome or lysoid from this uh, bacterial in, uh, infected uh, uh, from that bacteria, which is infected by the BHB2688, and those proteins are purified. And if you uh, provide the uh, DNA or vector with the cos sites, which is having the, uh, the DNA must be, uh, the vector or a DNA must have the at least the 38 to 53 KB, and it should have a cos sites. So if you isolate, uh, proteum or lysoid from that one and purify and you, you provide the uh, vector or recombinant vector you are providing here and with the cost sites and uh, with a minimum size of 38, 38 KB to 53 KB then then uh, there is no phase assembly. Phase assembly is not occurred because it lacks the head protein, that's a major capsid protein E. Similarly, the prote proteome or lysate isolated from the BHB2690 infected bacterial culture and purified, and they have head structures and tail proteins, but not the packing protein. So if you, that uh, lysate, and the vector with the cost sites and the uh, minimum size of that. But still, it cannot form a mature phase because lack of uh, D protein, which is essential for the packing of uh, DNA into the head, into the head. So there is no packing protein from this uh, lysate and there is no E protein, which is required for the formation of uh, pre-heads from the uh, this culture. 
So because of that, independently, they are unable to form a head or a packing. So if you club both lysates, the lysate from the uh, lysate lysate from the mittent of E, a lysate from the lambda D, and if you club them and if you mix them, and you provide the uh, vector with the cost sides and the, and the size required size, then from that from that mixture you can see that formation of a mature lambda phase particle. See, so the head is packed with the DNA because there is a D protein and E protein is there. Hence, because of that. You can you have a prehead and tail proteins and color proteins and DNA is there. So because of these uh, presence of uh, uh, head and uh, packet proteins, the mature pro mature phase particle is uh, uh, assembled. So this is a mature and infectious uh, lambda phase virus particle. Now, like a any like a, any wild type uh, lambda phase, it can infect the and get infected the host and forms the plagues. So this is what is the process of uh, in vitro packing. In the next slide, we'll see the, the same thing in the text format. You see, as I told you that production of infectious lambda phase virus particles from naked DNA with cast sites and preheads, tails and packing proteins in the laboratory condition. That process is called as uh, in vitro packing. Like wild type virus, an assembled virus can infect the bacterial host and form injects its DNA and uh, forms the plaques. As I told you that BHB268, which is having a mutation in the gene E, which cannot encode the uh, major capsid proteins required for the formation of head. And uh, when this uh, uh, lambda phase mutant is infected to the uh, bac uh, bacteria, that bacteria accumulates the, all the tail proteins and packing proteins, but not the prehead. And uh, BHB2690, which is having the mutation in the uh, packing protein gene, that's a D. So it can encode the tail and the packing proteins, not the prehead. Sorry, it can pro it pro produce the prehead proteins, but not the packing proteins. So a mixture of two lysates give full set of lambda proteins. The BHB2688 can give the tail proteins and packing proteins. And BHB2690 can give the head, tail proteins, tail proteins. So when you club these two lysates from this uh, from these two different and can give the complete one set of uh, proteins which are required for the formation of uh, mature infectious lambda phase virus particle. You see, proteins from both mutant and uh, infected bacteria isolated and mixed and incubated with the lambda DNA or cosmates or lambda based vector with the cos sites. So cos sites are very essential to be there with the uh, DNA provided. If there is no cost site, then it cannot be packed. And also the cost, the DNA size between the two cost sites should be at least 38 to 53 KB. Then only it will be packed into the heads of the lambda phase. So sequentially, all the phase proteins are assembled to form a head and tail structure and packing protein B and A will help in the packing of DNA with the cost sites which are separated by the 38 to 53 KB DNA. The functional assembly of the virus has been taking place in the laboratory conditions, hence this process is called as a in vitro packing. So the packing of the DNA means the proteins are isolated and that makes along with the uh, DNA uh, vectors. So the entire packing process is happening in the laboratory condition or in the test tube. That's why it is called as a in vitro packing. So in vitro packing is a very essential uh, technique and it's a part and parcel of the uh, genomic library clone, uh, construction by using the cosmetes 
or uh, lambda insertion vectors. You see, inhibitor packing is very essential technique and it is a part and parcel of the genomic DNA library construction by using casmid vectors or lambda replacement vectors. So this is all about uh, uh, in vitro uh, packing. If at all you like the video, try to subscribe for more updates. And uh, if you want to share, there is no issue. And if you like it, try to give thumbs up so that uh, I'll get back to you, to you with more videos. And if you have any issues, please write to me. I'll get back to you once I see the, your comment. Thank you all for listening. See you again. Until then, bye-bye.